Our next speaker is Dr. Angela Dispensieri. She's an expert in amyloidosis uh, and immediate past president of uh, International Amyloidosis Society. Welcome, Angela. Hello. Good morning. Um, so I'm um, going to talk about um, amyloidosis, um, and we're going to start with a case. So this is a 72-year-old gentleman with a 10-year history of uh, pityriasis rubra pilaris treated with TNF antagonist, methotrexate, um, not well-controlled disease. He also had a history of a cutaneous T-cell lymphoma uh, that was actually doing okay. Um, but three years even prior, he had a monoclonal protein, an IgA MGUS, um, and the free light chain ratio had been normal, and, and the marrow um, it was only showing 5 to 10 percent plasma cells. His fish were normal, his cytogenetics were normal, his CRP was um, a little bit above normal. And so he presented to cardiology with some shortness of breath and actually a decline in his ejection fraction from 55 to 35 percent. Um, they ruled out ischemic heart disease. They placed a stent, but there was no improvement in, uh, in the symptoms. And so another echo, um, again, was showing LVH and diastolic dysfunction, and an endomyocardial biopsy was performed, and there was amyloidosis. Um, oops. Didn't go down there. So what's his diagnosis? We have a diagnosis of amyloidosis. Um, the thing is we might assume that it's AL amyloidosis because he has a monoclonal protein. Uh, he also had a, some, a reactive kind of process. Um, so he could be at risk for AA amyloidosis, but that doesn't typically present in the heart. Um, and so um, it ended up that uh, the amyloid found in the heart was actually transthyretin. Wild type transthyretin. It was so it was shown that there was no mutation. So this would be consistent with age-related or ATTR wild type amyloidosis. Um, and so there's a really important couple of important points on this, and I'm not going to be talking to you about all different types of amyloid. We're going to mostly talk about um, AL. But I think it is important to to realize a few things. Number one, amyloidosis is many different diseases. Um, this is uh, showing that there are different building blocks that can be the amyloidosis. So as hematologists, we think of immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis, and that's a bone marrow disorder, and we give it chemotherapy, uh, kappa or lambda. So that's the building block that makes these fibrils that will stain um, 